What's up, Warlord Squad? My name is Anime Warlord. Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you the stuff that I have collected so far for the year 2020. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so kicking things off for this video is the empty box for Legendary Duelist Season 1. If you guys haven't seen that unboxing yet, I will leave a card somewhere in the video so y'all can check it out. I did an unboxing of this thing for nearly 50 minutes. That is crazy. So next time, when I unbox something like this, I will be sure to open one mini box. And for the rest of the boxes, I will do like a speed opening and then... I will do a little recap so it's a little bit of a shorter video. Not that I have nothing against making longer videos because don't get me wrong, I love making longer videos for you guys for you to be entertained by. But still though, people have so little time, you know what I mean? Next up, I have the first two Godzilla ornaments ever made. The first one is from 2005. This was made to resemble the original Godzilla from 1954. And this one right here was made in 2006. And this was made to resemble the Heisei Godzilla. And I will do a demo of both of them. And of course, as you all may know, I already did a showcasing of this ornament in my first mail haul. And this was included in my mail haul. So there they are out of their boxes. They look really, really nice. Not only are they great ornaments, but they're also great collector's items and great toys. So here is the first one made to resemble the Godzilla from 1954. And how you activate the lights and sounds is that you press the tallest building on the scene of destruction right here. Yeah, this collector's item is pretty much a jewel for any Godzilla fans out there. And if you want to buy one yourself, you can find these on eBay. But be sure you're fast because whenever it comes to rare collectibles, memorabilia, video games, and so on and so forth, people immediately hop on it like flies on shit. All right, so here is the next one made to resemble the Heisei Godzilla. And this one does not have lights, but it does have sounds. And as you can see on the entire ornament... There are all the Heisei monsters, friend or foe, and how you activate the sounds is you press this little building right here. And now that I have batteries inside, I can now play the sound. Pretty badass, right? I still have a lot more to go, but hey, you know, I'm always collecting constantly. Next up, I have some mini figurines. First up is Omega Shenron. I got this little guy at C2E2 this year before the COVID-19 pandemic hit. Same with a mystery mini of the puppet from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Bellboy Deadpool, or I think this is Flight Attendant Deadpool, I don't know. But... He kind of looks a little sad, don't you think? And Nick Fury from Spider-Man Far From Home. The subject of Spider-Man Far From Home, I got both movie cups. Here's one with Spider-Man and Mysterio on the other side. And here's just one with Spidey web zipping through London. Yeah, I couldn't get these cups when the movie was released. That's because people immediately attacked them. And I also got the um, lid toppers, but I don't keep the lids. I keep the little toppers because I keep them like little mini figures. Here is Spider-Man. Here's Mysterio. And of course, here's Nick Fury. Since I just showcased my Spider-Man Far From Home nerdy cups not that long ago, let's keep this subject rolling, shall we? Okay, so the next nerdy cup that I got is from this store called Ross. Now, you can find a lot of collectible nerdy memorabilia there if you're lucky, but for the most part, you won't. So this nerdy cup right here is a nostalgic Nickelodeon mug. I mean, look at all the nostalgia here, man. You got Cat Dog, you got Wild Thornberries, you got Ren and Stimpy, Rocket Power, Hey Arnold, Rocco's Martin Life, Invader Zim. Of course, you got SpongeBob, Rugrats, and so on and so forth. So yeah, I think this is a great collector's item and also a really cool mug for any Nickelodeon collector. And finally, this made an appearance in my mail haul and now it's making an appearance once again. Boom! There is my very, very sexy Zenobia mug for Christmas. Now this isn't 
a official licensed high school DXD product, but it's a really, really good bootleg. So whoever designed these mugs, kudos to you. I'm planning on to collect more when I can find some. All right, next up is a fan-made Yu-Gi-Oh card or a Yu-Gi-Oh Orica. This is a fan-made Yu-Gi-Oh card of Deck Destruction Virus. And of course, as you all know, this made an appearance in my mail hall too. And I wish Konami made this card official, but I don't think we might get this card for another three or so years. Who knows? But either way, if they do make this card official, they're going to butcher the hell out of it because the effect of Deck Destruction Virus is crazy, as you all know. Next is a 3D crystal clear Mario lamp, but this is not your ordinary lamp. This lamp honestly changes different colors. I would do a little demo of this lamp, but unfortunately the batteries had unfortunately worn out. So sorry guys, you'll see it in a future video when I do a room tour or something like that when I have batteries installed. Next is a holographic portrait of OG Captain America that I also got from Ross, just like the nostalgic Nickelodeon mug. Look at that. Ain't that nice. <laughs> now, I wonder if there's some other holographic portraits out there. Like, I don't know if, if there are others out there, but if there are, I really want to collect them. Like, I want to see the Hulk, Spider-Man, Venom, and also if they have some anime ones, that'll be pretty cool too. But for right now... I just have OG Captain America. Next up, I have a Nightmare Before Christmas snow globe slash music player. I got this at Walgreens when Halloween stuff was like, I believe, 50% uh, off after the holiday was over. Either way, this was still a great find and zero also lights up. So let me demo the snow globe. Oh yeah, gives you Halloween type snow let me turn on the lights there we go as you can see zero is really really bright <laughs> and the music that it plays is this is halloween Pretty cool, right? Boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see this our town of Halloween. <laughs> one of my favorite Tim Burton movies and one of my favorite movies of all time. Next up, I got two new Bakugan. Yeah, buddy. The original Bakugan before um, Bakugan Battle Planet came out. They go up for some pretty high prices, not going to lie to you, especially like the OG Bakugan because the OG Bakugan was released sometime in like 2008, I believe. But either way, some Bakugan can go up for some really high prices at the end of the day. First up is Aqua Sprays. And as you can see, he can change his attribute. It goes from Aquas to Subterra to Darkest. Same with the other Bakugan, and that is Elfin, and she is from Bakugan Nuvastroya. Next up, as you all know from my mail haul, I got Bakugan wall stickers. They are scattered all over across my wall. There's another one there. Some more up here. There's another one far down there. And there's another one right there. The last ones are on my door. Now, you guys already know that I collected some CDs and DVDs for this year, but I'm just like, mm, for this video, I'm just going to focus on the collectibles, toys, and memorabilia, and so on and so forth. Next up, I have the Hot Wheels Maniacs. Now, I can't believe that this toy is 13 years old. Now, I remember when I first got this all the way back in 2007. I was 10 years old. I remember I would play with it constantly. And then when I saw a listing for a very cheap price off of eBay, I'm just like, dude, I have to buy this. <laughs> yes, the batteries were corroded, but um, when I replaced it and put in the new batteries, I'm surprised that it still worked. Gonna do a little bit of a demo. Oh yeah, the memories are coming back. Yeah, how many of you guys remember the Hot Wheels Maniacs? Because I remember this toy with every single aspect of my heart. Because everybody knows you can smack them. Dude, you broke my window. Shake them.
play games. You can also feed them. Oh, oh, that's nasty, bro. <laughs> and of course you can do special surprises. Hmm, I'm gonna do the wedgie. <laughs> You're welcome. And on the subject of Hot Wheels, that is exactly what I have right here. Two little miniature cars from the early 2000s. Man, I feel old holding these in my hand because I collected these a long time ago and I finally found them again online for a very cheap price. So this one was part of their Sega series. This is designed to resemble Super Monkey Ball. And this one was part of their Serial Cruncher series. And this one resembles Cocoa Puffs. So yeah, I plan on to get them all someday because they are very, very nostalgic for me. And also, Hot Wheels has been around for five whole decades. That is fucking insane. Okay, so for those who don't know, I have an extreme unhealthy obsession with button pins. Don't ask me why, because I don't know myself. Like, I'm, I don't know if it's because, like, they're cute and fun to collect, or maybe I just found some cool ones over time. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out an answer to my own question. <laughs> but the reason why I'm talking about button pins to you guys, it's because... When the summer season was around, I got some Akira button pins. And for those who don't know, Akira is literally my favorite anime of all time. No strings attached. And yeah, I don't want to go digging for my Akira button pins because I have a lot of button pins that I have collected. And someday I will show that collection in depth. Don't know when, but it'll happen when it happens. So instead of me showcasing my Akira button pins for this... I'm showing you another Yu-Gi-Oh card. Now, this was part of the Yu-Gi-Oh OCG. This is my my latest Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh card that I got for my Otaku stash. And this card is called Wood Clown. Yeah, some OCG cards are weak as hell, but when you're a collector like me, it's totally worth your money. Now, when it comes to nerdy clothing, I got some pretty interesting articles of clothing right here. For the first thing I got is the notorious, very sexy Ahigao hoodie yeah buddy next i have a couple of shirts this right here is a shirt that i got at c2e2 this year this is retro thanos yeah buddy c2e2 is really a dope convention and i want to do an otaku vlog there someday next up i have a shirt of deadpool here i got this for my birthday this year it's just basically deadpool eating ramen I found this on a website called Shirtoid, where it links you to other websites that sell awesome shirts like this. And someday, I will do an awesome shirt haul. Would y'all like that? All right, next up, I have Thor's Mjolnir. This was part of their Marvel Legends series. As you all know, I have the Infinity Gauntlet, and also I have the Power Gauntlet from Avengers Endgame. And now, they're coming out with Thor's Stormbreaker. Ha! <laughs> So let me turn on the lights and the sounds. Boom. Yeah, buddy. This is definitely a great collector's item if you're a fan of Thor. Or just a Marvel fan in general. And also, there's a voice activation feature as well. So you hold on to this little button right... Oh, I'm turning it the wrong way. You hold on to this little button right here, and that will activate the voice activation setting. Now, when Thor was banished by Odin, he spoke to Mjolnir, and he said, Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. And that inspired this amazing voice activation feature. So once again, you hold down on this little button right here, and Odin's symbol will appear every single time when you say Thor or worthy. Watch this. All right, the thunder has subsided. Thor! Huh? How cool is that, man? <laughs> and of course, you can also say, worthy. Bada bing, bada boom. That's what I'm talking about. But it's even cooler in a darker room. So let me turn off some of my lights. All right, guys, I made it a little bit more darker in my room. As you can see, the lightning is a lot more clearer. And Odin's symbol will be a lot more clearer, too. Worthy. 
Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, we have a few more things to showcase and then we're all done. The first to last things are my brand new Funko Pops. As you all know, I got these in the mail and they were included in my very first mail haul. They are Funko Pops of the Egyptian God cards. And since we have a Yami Merrick one coming out real, real soon, I hope in their next Yu-Gi-Oh! wave, they give us the Winged Dragon of Ra because you cannot complete the trio without the Winged Dragon of Ra, bro. It's just how it works. All right, everybody. And the last items that I have to showcase to you guys are video games. I have two PC games and both of them are anime related. First up, we have the Dating Sim Puzzle Hybrid Honey Pop, and this is not the censored Steam version. This is the uncensored PC version. Yeah, buddy. I remember seeing a lot of YouTubers play this game, and I am definitely going to play this game on my channel, but I have to censor a lot of the naughty bits because it's 18 plus for a reason. <laughs> And finally for the games is the Notorious School Days HQ, the game that inspired the anime. The anime I absolutely despise, and the game is honestly quite alright. And honestly, School Days can go one of two ways. It could either be like the best visual novel that you've played in your life, or the worst. There's a total of 21 different endings in School Days HQ. Three of them contain a shocking and grotesque conclusion. I already got one of them, and it fucked me up pretty bad. <laughs> So, yeah, I am super happy that I found this because this PC game is pretty rare and I paid almost 300 bucks for School Days HQ. Now that just goes to show how rare and how valuable and pricey things can get. And immediately when I saw an offering on eBay for that amount of money, I'm just like, oh, I got to buy this right away. Sure, School Days HQ was kind of pricey and Honey Pop was cheaper, but... Either way, I'm a collector. It's what I do. So there you have you guys. That was everything I bought in 2020 so far. I'm going to have a Christmas haul whenever. So be on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, I'm going to release a lot more cool nerdy videos for your enjoyment and for your entertainment. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you guys like today's video, give it a like. If you guys have anything to say about today's video, give it a comment. Don't forget to subscribe Dizzle off the Hizzle Drizzle. Nailed it. And ring that notification bell for future nerdy videos. You guys already know who I am. I'm Anime Warlord. Stay nerdy, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!